featuring D'Addario's proprietary NY steel wire and our impossibly thin protective coating, XS Electric lets you bend further and play longer with a sound that stays timeless. We're getting a sneak peek at something mm -hmm. um, that is about to launch. Let's talk yep. about that. Yeah, sick. So I have uh, this one drops May 17th. Uh, which you get will pro maybe already know about it by the time you see this, but this is a uh, this is my favorite one so far. It's insane. That finish looking. is nasty. Dude. Yeah, I'm a oh. video game nerd, so I ended up uh, naming it uh, Majora Purple from oh, okay. Legend of Zelda. Yeah, totally. Um, because I don't know if you've played that video game or not, uh -huh. but it's got a the mask main mask in that game is kind of purple, so I like playing off like stuff like that just to have fun with it. But yeah, this thing is insane and Worth we just wanted to yeah. yeah we just wanted to change it up a little bit because i've always had ebony so i just wanted to have like you know some diversity with the sure. lines because if you look at like jp stuff like all of them are so different there's right. like such a wide range of all the finishes wood combos and stuff like that um but yeah so we just uh, did the white pickups on this and i feel like it plays really well Super off nice the, on that yeah um, what pickups did you have put in there? Uh, these are Music Man ones, custom to my cool. model. They only exist in uh, my guitars. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, did you have a hand in helping, you know, voice those or? Uh, the configuration of the pickup switching, yes. Okay. But not the. Um, they kind of already knew what I liked from the JP guitars, and then sure. um, just kind of made made a slightly different version that catered more to like. Uh, the configuration of the pickup switching that I did, because um, on the old, on the when I was playing the JPs, the way you would activate the coil tap was you'd have to do the tone knob up uh -huh. like that. Which when I'm playing live, like uh, especially like even for like some of the all the main stuff, I have to switch really fast from like a uh, really distorted heavy tone, and then it goes right into finger picking like classical guitar totally. type yeah. part. So that would be super like just going from trying to play that, I have to like stop playing for like half a bar just so I can even just go like that to activate right. the coil tap because it's if you can't just be like and then hope for it to go right into the middle um but yeah but having to do that and then that is just like a lot that's a lot yeah, yeah sure. so especially when you're having to switch that fast so we just made it so when you put it right in the middle it goes right to coil tap oh interesting yeah okay because mm -hmm. that's the only sound i really want to use for cleans sure yeah for uh, clean guitar parts so we just eliminated that one motion, so it's a little easier for me live to like get to that sound. Man, that's <clears> beautiful. <throat> How do you feel about the the roasted maple neck? I mean, are, tonally, is there any kind of difference? Do you feel like it affects the sustain at all? Or uh, I haven't noticed too much. I only I mean, started. You guys are also playing pretty high game shit. Yeah, so, yeah, I didn't start playing this one until um, the other day, last Saturday, because uh, I didn't want to like spoil the surprise too hard when it right. drops on May seventeenth. Um, but I just released a new video for my solo stuff. Uh, song called Pumbuchu. It's pretty wild, and uh, I use the seven-string version of this for a part in the song. So I was like, they said that was okay, so I'm gonna start playing it live to kind of like tease it. Now, are they gonna do a production seven and a six-string? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, this yeah. one's gonna be retail. Uh, gotcha. Yeah, this one's gonna be retail uh, for everyone, and then this one.